absolutely love the both of you and have been following for a very long time. Listen to the podcast every week, and I just finished last week's episode and thought I would share my crazy down in the DM story about the universe looking out for you. Mm. So back when I was in high school, I was probably 17 at the time, back in the days of AOL chat rooms Mm -hmm. and random chat rooms and talking to people randomly for weeks and hours on end. I had met this guy uh, who was, he said he was in his mid twenties and we kind of just clicked instantly. He I thought said. it was so cool talking to an older guy mm-hmm. and we exchanged numbers and texted and talked on the phone for weeks on end. Um, we called each other Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, <laughs> oh. Those were our nicknames. <laughs> and so we did that because we talked about how crazy we were and how maybe someday we would travel together and get into trouble just like Bonnie and Clyde did. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Fast forward to our first meeting. They met. Uh, I drove an hour away from where I lived uh, to pick him up in a parking lot. Probably should have been my first red Mm -hmm. flag. Oh, shit. Um, And we drove around this beautiful lake town near there and we just talked about things and listened to music and hung out. Um, He never attempted to do anything, but he did hold my hand and he just kept complimenting and telling me how beautiful I was and how excited he was. Is that love bombing? Um, He couldn't Mm -hmm. wait for the potential future, yada, 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 all the things those guys say. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that first meeting, I went home and he just kept saying how he regretted not kissing me and how beautiful I was and that he couldn't, again, wait to see what happened with our future. And then randomly one day I get a phone call from the sheriff's office in the county that he lived in, and they asked if I knew Clyde, and I said, yes, I do, and they asked how I knew him, so I explained how we met and what our quote-unquote relationship was like, and then they informed me that he indeed was not in his mid-20s, but that he was in his early 30s. And that he was a convicted sex offender for lewd acts with minors and some other really horrible things that I won't go into. (gasps) And that he was, had now violated his parole for talking to me and Mm. spending time with me and being close to me because I was a minor at the time. Mm. So they requested that I send a letter detailing uh, our interactions to the judge. And in that request, I could, um ask that he never contact me again, which of course that's what I did. Wrote the letter, sent it in, blocked his number, and never thought twice. But I'm super glad that the universe was looking out for me because who knows yeah, who knows what could have happened if they didn't. Anyway, just thought I'd share my crazy story. Love you ladies so much. So I have a lot to say about that because Mm -hmm. I feel like to her point in the beginning of the voice note she says that she thought she was so cool talking to like an older guy. So she had the option to write this letter and, you know, detail to the court or whatever, but she's probably also heartbroken because she Mm. thought it was so cool. She thought she was like, when we're young, we think we're going to marry that person. I thought I was going to marry the person I lost my virginity to when I was 14. Like we all swear, you know what I mean? So she probably was also heartbroken Mm -hmm. because she thought it was the coolest thing to talk to an older guy. They met, you know, they, he was complimenting her, love bombing her. How fucking sad. That's so scary, too. I can't imagine getting a phone call and, like, finding out that the person that you were, like, just sharing your space with is, like, a fucking sex offender. That would just make – I would feel so violated, you know, like, just up, in general. Um, The sex offender list by my house. Don't do that. You can't do that. And I mean, I'm you want like, to do it. I know people want to do it, but I tr- I can't. It literally dry, will drive me It makes me, me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. Because there's some really close there's ones, really, and I'm mm-hmm. like – there's nothing you can really do Mm-mm. about it. Yeah. Because no matter do, where like, you go, away, they're, they're, all, everywhere. they're everywhere. They're everywhere. So it's just, just oh, really disturbing. It's really sick.